welcome back students in this lecture we will be dealing with analysis of space stress using tension coefficient method so it is important that you go through the previous lectures so that you have a basic of about the tension coefficient method as well as the space stress so in this we will be seeing the analysis of a space stress through a example so the basic of tension coefficient method is same it is the same as that of the method of joint so at each of the joint we will have to consider the equilibrium in three dimensions since it is a three dimensional structure so at each of the joint we will consider sigma f x equal to 0 sigma f y equal to 0 and sigma f z equal to 0 the only difference is that we will write the joint equilibrium equation that is sigma fx, sigma fy and sigma fz in terms of joint coordinates as well as the tension quotient of each members. So the method of expressing the equilibrium equation also remains the same. If you want to represent the x component of a member force, you have to write it as tension quotient of the member multiplied by x coordinate of the far joint minus x coordinate of the near joint similarly for you have to write the y component as well as for the z components tension quotient for information if you remember it is nothing but tension in the member divided by the length of the member so once you get the tension quotient if you multiply it with the length of the member you can find out the force in the member and if the tension quotient is negative it means that the force in the member is compression and if the tension quotient is positive it means that the force in the member is tension now with that background let's see an example here so here we have an example a b c d e all are pin joint connections and the detail of support is also given in the question here so read carefully it says that a we have a roller which means that we have only one reaction at a and then it says it has a slotted roller constrained in a cylinder along Z at C which means that the joint C is free to move in Z direction however it is not able to move in X and Y direction which means that there is a reaction in X and Y direction and about joint B it is said that the support is a ball and socket arrangement which means that all the three direction of translation is restrained which means that at all the direction of we will have the reaction so bx by and bz so that's it about the question here so the details of the dimension is also given very clearly and for finding out the joint coordinates we have considered the origin at d which means that the joint coordinate of d is 0 0 0 and x is along the member dc towards right is positive and Z direction is along the member AD that is coming out of the plane of the laptop or the screen towards us it is Z direction and the upward direction is positive Y so with this given code, code you know, origin and cartesian system you can find out the joint coordinates of each of the joints as well let me check the determinacy and stability of the structure so we can count the number of reactions as 6 a y p y c y p z b x and c x the number of reactions is 6 there are 5 joints which is a b c d e and there are total of 9 members you can count 4 in outer plane and 5 in the exit plane okay so you can calculate m minus 3j plus r which is 9 minus 3 into 5 which is 15 9 minus 15 plus 6 is going to be 0 which means that the stress is tape when determined in other ways you can calculate the external determinacy separately and internal determinacy separately so external determinacy is r minus 6 which is 6 minus 6 is 0 internal determinacy will be m minus 3j plus 6 which is 9 minus 3j 15 plus 6 which is going to be again 0 so stress given trust is stable and determinate and it should be able to be analyzed using 
only the equilibrium condition that is sigma x sigma y and sigma z now let's find out the zero member forces so remember the theorems one two three theorems from the previous lecture so if we take the joint t you can see that there are there is no external load acting at the joint e and also there are three members meeting at joint d which are dc de and da and each of these members doesn't belong to a common plane all of the three are in different plane this means that all these members ad cd and ed will be having zero member forces zero mem zero force which means that you can neglect ad cd and de for the further analysis as the force in all these members is zero now let's find out the reactions so the best way is we have six equilibrium conditions that is sigma fx equal to zero sigma f equal to zero sigma fz equal to zero and moment about x equal to zero moment about y is equal to zero and moment about z equal to zero so six equation and six unknown reactions we can easily find out each of the reactions so we will start with sigma fx so if we consider in this sorry fz so if we consider the z direction there is only one force which is bz one reaction which is bz and another external force which is 60 so both are along positive direction of z which means that bz plus 60 equal to zero which means that bz is equal to minus 60 okay so we got the value of bz already it is minus 60 which means that bz x in the negative direction of z now you can find out sigma my moment about the axis y the forces which creates moment about y is of course this 60 which is a distance of 2 meter from y axis then the force b set which is at a distance of 4 meter from y axis and bx which is at a distance of 2 meter so let's take anti-clockwise moment as positive which means that bx is creating a anti-clockwise moment of bx into 2 meter then b b set is creating a clockwise moment which is a, which means it is minus b set into 4 so we already know that b set is minus 60 so minus of minus 60 is plus so plus 60 into 4 and we also have a 60 kilo newton force at a distance of 2 which is anti-clockwise so minus 16 to 2 equals 0 so solving this we have the value of bx as well now we'll go back and find the other reactions if we take sigma fx equal to 0 we have two reactions in the same direction and no external forces so cx and bx equal to 0 which means that 6 equal to minus bx bx value is already you know so cx is going to be plus 60 now if you can take moment about z the reaction which create moment about z is ay sorry moment about x or ay by and two external forces 60 and 100 so we get the equation ay plus by equal to 170 if you take sigma mx equal to 0 so keep that aside now if you take sigma fy sum of all the forces in the y direction equal to 0 we have ay plus by plus cy is equal to 100 so that is the second equation so from the previous equation ay plus by is 170 if you substitute that in the substitute that here you can get the value of cy which means that cy is minus 70 which means that cy is acting downward fine now if you can take moment about z which is moment about this axis z axis the forces which creates moment is this 100 force reaction cy and reaction by if you take again anti-clockwise as positive so 100 is a clockwise moment it's minus so minus 100 into distance is 2 then cy was acting downward which means that it is again clockwise so cy which is 70 into 4 meters 
that is also negative and dy is suppose is creating a anti clockwise moment by into 4 so from this you can find out why what is by so you get by is 120 if you go back to this equation you can substitute by here and find a by s 170 minus 120 which is 50 now that you have got all the reactions you can mark all the reactions carefully in each of the joints and start doing the tension corrosion method so before doing the tension corrosion method it is important that you mark all the joint ordinates so we already take origin at d which means that the coordinates of d is going to be 0 0 0 and with that reference you can find the joint coordinates of other joints also a b c d e so a b c d lies in the same x set plane which means that y value is going to be 0 for a b c d so you can notice the note down the coordinates from here and also once you get the coordinates you can find the length of each of the member a b each of the member a b b c etc okay. now you go to all the reactions what you have to do is you have to carefully mark all the reactions at the joints and draw the free body diagram of each of the joints so if you take joint a there is this reaction a y which is positive 50 then member force in a b which is f a b member force in a c which is f a c and member force in a e which is f a e all the three forces are marked carefully here a d is neglected because we already know that it is a zero force member okay so we can start with this pre body diagram of joint a so write the equation for sigma fx equal to zero in terms of tension coefficient and joint coordinates so if you take member t a b t a b is equal to joint coordinate of far joint which is b in x so it is going to be 4 minus 0 then tac it is going to be far joint is c again 4 minus 0 then tae far joint is 2 minus 0 so you get this equation and you get an expression equation in terms of tab tac and TA. so set it aside now you take sigma f by equal to 0 so we will write the tension coefficient equation in fy you notice that tab and tac vanishes only ta remains and ta value is minus 12.5 so keep that aside now take sigma f set equal to 0 tab into 2 minus 2 it vanishes tac into 0 minus 2 ta into 1 minus 2 so there is an expression relating a t a c and t a e we already know t a e value so you can find t a c value from here now we got t a e and t a c value you can substitute both in the first equation and get the value of t a b so once you have all the tension coefficient method, tension coefficients you can make this table for each of the member a b a c and e write down the tension coefficients write down the length of each of the member once you do this you can find the force in each of the member by multiplying tension coefficient with length so 0 into 4 it is 0 6.25 into 4.47 it is 27.94 note that tension coefficient is positive which means it is a tension force here tension coefficient is negative which means that it is a compressive force okay. so with that now we can analyze the joint b here so note down the free body diagram for joint B so we already mark the reactions B Z, B Y and B X in the respective directions then we mark force in member P C and force in member B E F P E we already know that member force A B was 0 so we did not mark that here okay once you have that you can note down the equilibrium equation sigma fx equal to 0 so from equilibrium equation we have TBE into E set coordinate is R coordinate is X coordinate is 2 minus 4 then TBC which means that it is 4 minus 4 
this means that you can directly get the value of TPE right and also there was a force here please consider that now sigma f set equal to 0 which means that we have to consider this force 60 in opposite direction so there is minus 60 coming up first then TPC into set coordinate for BC the first peak the far coordinate comes 0 minus near coordinate which is 2 for TBE first the far coordinate comes for 1 and then 2 so 1 minus 2 from here you can get what is the value of TBC as well so please note this is TBC So you've got both TBE and TBC as negative, which means that both of them are going to be compressive forces. In order to get the value of force, what you have to do is multiply each of the tension coefficient with the length of the members to get the force in each of the members. BE and BC. Now that only one force is left, so that we will consider the joint C. So it's, it's joint C also draw the pre-body diagram so first of all mark the cy and cx then mark all the member forces which are fcb fca and f c cd is already neglected because it is a zero force member okay so please note uh, we got to find only one force which is fce and if you note carefully f Um, CB and CA both lies in the exit plane it doesn't have any contribution to forces in y, y, y direction which means that if you take consider sigma fy equal to 0 you get only one force to contribute in that direction which is FCE so we will write the equilibrium equation for sigma fy so first of all that's there is a 70 force acting downward so we will consider that minus 70 then we'll write for fce so tce so tce into coordinate of e in a y which is 4 and coordinate of c in y which is 0 so 4 minus 0 other two member forces will be not having any contribution as you can see from the tension equation equation it means that you can easily find out the tce value as well once you get tension equation for member C, you can multiply it with the length of the member C, find out the force and note that it is a positive tension coefficient, which means that it is a tensile force. So other equations sigma fx equal to 0 and sigma fz equal to 0 can be used as a check. So please note that also. So once we are done, actually there was total 9 members out of which AD. DC and DE were zero member forces. We neglected that remaining six forces. We already found out the member forces. So once you get all the tablet that carefully and express the answer in the table. Or you can also use a force diagram. Since it is difficult to draw a force diagram in 3D, it is better to use a table for expressing your answer. And don't forget to mark the nature of the forces so that's it for the lecture thank you